Hi folks, Don Bailey, Suburban Tool. Got, got a new product today we want to talk about that's uh, really going to help you tool makers make a difference. And that's what this is about. I, I, I don't like to, because we're trying to be informative with all these videos, and but in this case we kind of have to cross a line a little bit to go over a product that we have that we, we know will make a difference. So uh, let me ask you this, and by the way I really have a great time doing this. I love doing this and giving back to the community. Uh, it's, it's a it's a wonderful thing for me to do to spend the time doing it and I really enjoy it. So, uh, Glenn, let me ask you something. Uh, fly tool. Yeah. What's a fly tool? A fly tool? Inspect a fly? <laughs> well, or to catch a fly or catch maybe to a kill fly? a fly. Nah, not even close. But this is today's fly tool. And this is what it looks like. And this is when you machine with this, the results. This is generally done in a bridge port, not always, can be done in lots of other machines, folks, so I don't mean to single out a bridge port, but that's what we kind of talk about for the most part. We have an R8 collet, and that's what you have. So as you can see, Glenn, what do you think of that? That's kind of so-so. with Yeah, a, it's you know, old. Old old school. Yeah. Regular tool bit, you know, uh, uh, not a car. you can put a carbide insert in here, a carbide in here, but not an insert, but a carbide tool bit. This happens to be high-speed steel. And uh, this is the kind of results that you end up with. It. New concept, new idea, tremendous difference. Take a look at this. This is the head of the new fly tool. This is the cutter itself, of which there are three. Pocket milled in here. Why the pocket? Let me show you. You drop it in like so. We snug these guys up, and you can you can actually turn it upside down so if it's in a machine and you need to adjust it it's not going to fall on the floor or fall on your part. Kind of cool. Uh, and there's three different bars, three different lengths like so, like so, and this one. Now you might say what do we do about adapting it? So here we have a 40 taper that drops in bolt goes in the end, got to take this off of course, but there's a bolt that goes in there to hold it on. Or, if you want to do it in the bridge port, we have an R8 collet adapter, which drops in there, locks in, and now I want to point out a couple of other things. You have an insert that's, that's indexable by three times, so you've got one, two, three points that you can use, and it's a negative rake, which which means what? You know what that means, Glenn? No clue. Man. All right, what negative rake means is that it's going to throw the heat on the chip. So that's a cool thing. Why is that cool? Because it keeps the part cool. So when you're cutting, you generate heat, right? And if we generate heat, that's heat's our enemy. We don't like heat. So how do we get rid of the heat? Well, in this case, we put the heat in the chip. So that's kind of a cool thing. So that's the new way versus the old way of fly cutting. And I just want to point out the kind of finish that you'll get once again because it's really cool. This is the kind of finish that you'll get with a fly tool that reaches all the way across. And some of you guys out there, some of you old time tool makers, man, you probably made your own fly tool cutter. And I certainly respect that and understand that. But for those of you that don't have the time, the energy to make it, this is one way to have an indexable fly tool cutter that will give you the kind of finish that really looks cool. I mean, if you're going to go out and buy something, Glenn, if I said, now these are both dimensionally the same, mm -hmm. but which one would you like better? The one on your right. There you go. Because it looks better. Pretty. 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 It's pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. I don't want to say pretty, but you said. No, it does look pretty. So, all right. So, Glenn, you ready to go use this fly cutter? I didn't bring any flies. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Glenn. We're going to, listen, we're going to go in the back and show you how this baby really works. So let's go take a look.
Okay, folks, so now you've had a chance to see it in action. We hope that this has been helpful for you, and thanks for watching.